Daring Abroad brought to you by our friends at Remitly. Download the Remitly app to send money back home. The show is on. The topics are great. Today we take you to Germany and on our back home segment we will take you to Diani in Kwale County and you may be wondering what exactly. Yes, here are the highlights. Germany is a very interesting country. She's an entrepreneur, an author and the founder of one of the largest African women welfare communities in Europe. We have over 6,000 members, so we network with different cultures, different way of doing things, Switzerland, Germany, Holland. Yes. Joy Zenz shares her triumph in uniting Kenyan women abroad. On our back home segment, why Diani is a hot investment destination. Alex, mm. karibu sana to Diani Pazurina Golf Resort. And the opportunities through Pazurina Holdings International. 70% of our clients yeah. are from the diaspora. With that out of the way, we now fly you to Germany. And here is Joy Zenz's journey abroad. Joy Zenz is a lady on a mission. For the past 15 years, Joy has been committed to the empowerment of the African woman domiciled abroad. She's also in the technology area. When we met her, it was during one of her diaspora meet and greet events held in Nairobi. The aim of this event really is to bring people together as we've not been connected through COVID and uh, that's why it's called meet and greet. So we have diasporans here, we have business women here as well with support with the Africa women in trade. Through her organization, African Women in Europe, Joy has been able to champion women's entrepreneurial rights since relocating to Germany. Germany was such a big culture, shock. And from there I said, I want to know what are people doing here? Because I used to meet people who are not doing what I wanted to do. They had big dreams. I don't want to do clean the toilet. I want to go straight to work with minimum language. But then I said, let me find out what others are doing. And that's how Africa Women in Europe was started. We have over 6,000 members because we are in Europe, we're not only Germany. So we network with different cultures, different way of doing things, Switzerland, Germany, Holland. Last This year we've met in different countries. In May we, are, we were in UK, it's our biggest community, of course, because of the numbers. And they also help us to pull the other countries up in terms of social life of especially Africans. We have Germany, we have Switzerland, Holland, and now going to Scandinavia slowly. Now, a bit about Joy. Joy Wanjiru Machugu Zenz was born and raised in Kiambu County. She attended Kangumbiri Girls High School before joining Kenya Polytechnic, now Technical University of Kenya, for a diploma in institutional management. Immediately after, she left for Germany. Richard, age, you're turning 24, 25. You're thinking, okay, this age is that time. You have to start looking, uh, how are you going to get married, how are you going to look in your future, your jobs and how you're going to look like. And already I got into engagement, straight to marriage after my uh, diploma, which was very important for me. And we had to, due to the location of the job here, we had to move to Germany. But actually Switzerland, put it that way, but living in Germany. Thereafter started the family and... Yeah, Baba, our total name Germany. Yes. So in Germany, what do you do? Germany was a very interesting country. Uh, first of all, coming in with a culture shock. To develop yourself, it takes a long, long journey. Because I was very newly married after honeymoon, started with raising the children. You know, Nyumbani Sikama In Europe, you always have to look at the kids, housekeeping and everybody take care of the children. It's quite expensive. So. The whole first thing was to take care of the children as I get to know the culture, the language. And uh, it took some time. I have two lovely boys. And immediately after I went back to school, I also enlightened myself. Now I also have a diploma in project management. 
I work full time in a pharmaceutical company in Switzerland for over five years now. I went to the offices to exactly find out what was my position to get a job in this country. And my level was one of the lowest because first of all, the language was not clear. Although I had a B, uh, when you go to lessons, you have to have a B2, B1. At that time I had the highest, the B2 you and needed. You were in German language? German language. I had learned at Gothe Institute. I, I didn't want to go somewhere without understanding a language. At least understanding, but talking was difficult. It was not easy getting a job initially? Initially it was not easy to get a job, but once you master the language, that's the key for everything. Anyone going to any country, you have to master the language. You don't need to go again and study the whole language lessons or universities or degrees just because of a language. But things have changed. It's not the way it was then. They can, you can change your certificates to your level where you are in and still continue with what you want. So I did change. I changed mine. I didn't have to redo anything and I went straight to the, to the customer care service. It was during this time in 2008 the Joy felt the need to establish African women in Europe together with 50 founding members. The diaspora are dying in Europe mm, right. because of depression. The pressure from back home, the pressure in the country, and the lack of sun, you'd love <laughs> about vitamin D, which is called the, the side of the sad. And this hit a lot of African, and the problem is that what happened, we have seen cases, they're taken to the hospital, they're injected, they never come out of it. And this was very sad when we started the African Women in Europe. said no one should die alone or feel alone because we are many of us going through the same process. But the thing is that nobody told them how it is when you come. So what we did, we wrote a book. We have two books. We wrote our own stories. Right now we have already sold quite a lot of them. Over time, their efforts grew into business, resulting in the opening of a savings and credit cooperative society by the name Away Diaspora Circle. After 10 years uh, of our anniversary, after we launched the book was launched on ten, on, after 10 years, we decided we want to go back home and do something. And when we, we decided to go back home, we thought, where else can you start? I, most of us are 60% are Kenyans. So we decided to come home and already we had about this circle, diaspora circle, and we launched the circle. But the whole idea of the circle was actually, how can we be the change of the economical development of Kenya or Africa in general? And that means the remittance that we are sending, well, how can we change it from consumption to investment and generate wealth? for our family because as you know we have been sending a lot of money here in Africa in Kenya and we have a feeling it's a big pot with a hole that never fills up and we cannot some of us come back home and find nothing so how can we change that to generation it's wealth a channel to invest. it's a channel to invest to with entrepreneurs the circle right now is only two years, going two years and a half. We are already 30 in different countries, Germany, Switzerland, and UK as our majority. And I'm at the moment the chairperson. Since establishment, the circle has experienced great success investing in Kenya. The Comparative Bank is our bank holding the circle. That's where we channel our money and invest through their the, the institution. Our work is to find market access, marketplace for our businesses of our members. That's what we do. We have one project that we did as a way together with GIZ, it's called Vidu Project. The Vidu Project, we really encourage the diaspora and the family members to, to do a joint fund. Half they, they give themselves and the half was given by the GIZ, uh, which is the Vidu Project, and started having businesses. So right now they are, have members in my place, including myself, we have cows. We started a cow project with my sister. That is quite a huge project right now. Joy plans to continue the good work she is doing with more events being organized, like the upcoming African Women in Europe Summit Conference and Gala Awards, set to take place on 3rd of June in Brussels, Belgium.
But even as she forges ahead, she still believes living abroad is a must-have experience for all. But as you venture beyond borders, don't forget your motherland. The exposure is always good, but you make the decision. Where do you want to go? Are you happy there or happy here? Europe is using Africa and, Euro and Kenya specific for labor source. So let's make sure that we have uh, our skills here. Let's uh, help the mindset, make sure the funding is there, investments to start businesses. You don't need a white collar job. And that's what Daring Abroad is all about. Quite insightful and good lessons there for those who would like to dare abroad. Many thanks to Joy Zenz for sharing your story there. We now take a short break. When we return... Alex, mm. karibu sana to Diani Pazurina Golf Resort. Why Diani is a hot investment destination and opportunities available through Pazurina Holdings International. With Remitly, you can send money to Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and over 40 other African countries. With low or no fees, so more money gets home. Loved ones can receive your money through familiar options like MTN, M-Pesa, First Bank, Access Bank, and more. Plus, an ever-expanding network of bank deposit, mobile money, and cash pickup availability. You will also get real-time transfer updates so you know where your money is through the whole transfer process. Download the Remitly app today and get a special offer on your first transfer. You're watching Daring Abroad, brought to you by our friends at Remitly. Download the Remitly app to send money back home. Welcome back. Now, Diani, known for its sandy beaches, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Kenya. It's been voted the best beach in Africa many times. On our back home segment, we showcase investment opportunities in Diani through Pazurina Holdings International. Take a look. Alex, mm. karibu sana to Diani Pazurina Golf Resort. Well, finally, yes, yeah. nice. Eh? This is Diani a... Pazurina Golf Resort. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. this is a gated community. Mm. We are located along Charlie Road, mm -hmm. and you know the famous Charlie Island. Yes, it yeah. is uh, just right here. Yeah. It's our neighbor. Yeah, it's a very popular tourist destination. Yes, because mm. uh, it is an island that gives a feel of the holiday. Mm -hmm. We are actually just 1.2 kilometers to the beach. Uh huh. A uh, walking distance of around 12 minutes. Oh, down there? Yeah, the beach is actually just a walking distance. So once you own a piece of uh, this resort, you will be able to walk mm -hmm. to the beach and enjoy the sandy mm -hmm. beach of Diani. Mm -hmm. So Karibu Sana Alex, okay. this is the project. Let's that, see what's uh, inside. Okay. And I'm seeing you've done at the perimeter wall already. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We are. So this one goes up to where? Actually, it is all around the land. Yeah and uh, the contractor is actually winding up on the plastering. Mm. Yes. And it's so common with these trees. Are these the baobab trees? Yeah, this is uh, the baobab. Yeah. I don't know if you eat. There's something that they make mm. and which is very sweet. Mm -hmm. This is like uh, the typical tree here that marks this area. Uh -huh. Yes. So what is here or what do you envisage here? What's the project all about? Maybe you can describe to us. Uh, yeah. This project, they are quarters and also eights. Mm -hmm. That is 50 by 100 and 100 by 100. Yes. With Within the golf resort, there will be a mini golf course, there will be a high-end hotel, and uh, we are actually, uh, we are already 90% sold. 90% sold? Oh, you yes. are doing well. We are wow. doing so well. Actually, yeah. we are now almost closing the project. Yeah. All yeah. the houses will have similar designs. Mm. And as we speak, that the, type, the designs have already been approved by the county council. Uh -huh. So within the next one, two, three months, the houses will start coming up. So you are selling eighth and a quarter? Currently, yeah. the aids are fully sold uh -huh. out. What is remaining is quarters. Only a quarter. Yeah, eh? only quarters. And a, a quarter is going for how much? A quarter is going for only 3 million Kenya shillings. Uh -huh. Considering the, the provided amenities, the mini golf course, there is going to be a world class a hotel within the resort. So, that 3 million is what we are doing for a now, quarter cash price. Let me ask so, can I buy? Two quarters, three quarters. I mean, uh, it is open. Uh, as in three pieces, four pieces, and combine. That is there a maximum? To no, it? no, no, yeah. no. As long as you can pay for it, as long we as you have can no afford. Eh? And most of our customers have two to three plots. Since once they got bought the first one, and they, they are cutting to see that uh -huh, our promises mm -hmm, are coming up, mm -hmm, they are really mm -hmm. taking it up. And what's the payment plan like? 
Uh, first, we have cash. Cash is three million, mm -hmm. but we have flexible pay pay payment plans. That yeah. means you can do three months, you can do six months, but you are sure that as you increase the period, then the prices will increase slightly. And Florence, these are coral stones. Eh? Yes, this mm -hmm. is a coral stones. Since we are very near to the beach. Yeah, very ideal for construction. Uh, very ideal for construction. Mm -hmm. And because this is coastal area, sand is readily available and all the materials are readily available. Wow. And so it will be, the cost of mm -hmm. construction will be mm -hmm. quite cheap. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Th that's a beacon? Yeah, actually that's a beacon. Yeah. All the land have been subdivided. The individual titles are ready mm -hmm. for all the pieces of land. Once you complete your payment, within 90 days you have your title. Okay. Yes. So what will be here? Uh, within this or is it still the, the, the units yeah, the these people are, still are buying? The, or yeah, <laughs> this is still the units because the, the mini golf course is going to be towards the end. And then around that corner is where we are going to have the clubhouse. The clubhouse will be there? Yes. And the mini resort the mini golf course to our will, left? Eh? Yes, it okay. will be, yes. Okay. And you know, the, the sunrise is from this direction, eh? Yes, the sunrise uh, is from this side and also towards this side we have the beach. So the ocean is this side? Yes, eh? we okay. can walk there 12 minutes, mm. we are the beach. Okay. Now, Florence, many people will always want to know, is there water, electricity, you know, name it, the, the amenities. So what assurance are you giving to potential buyers, you know, your Current, amenities? Yes. Currently, as we speak, mm. water is on site. There is actually a water tower, so we have already uh, done a borehole. The water here mm -hmm. is a bit salty, but we do have a fresh water point mm -hmm. where we will get the fresh water for like host household use. Yes. The other thing is that electricity is in progress. We have already started engaging the KPLC and within the next two, three months, electricity will also be on site. Uh -huh. As you can also see, the roads are already graded, okay. meaning accessibility to your plot will be very easy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Any other key amenities? Now, what are other amenities? Now, we could not be talking about the neighbors, mm -hmm. meaning that the accessibility is very very easy uh, we are just situated along Chale Road and then the Chale Road is actually just about to be tarmacked also we are neighboring the sandy beaches and there are so many hotels mm -hmm. the, that means that uh, this area is attracting a lot of tourists and once you build your home you will have traffic when you're around you can always use it as a holiday home and when you're away you will be able to get money from the Airbnb. Also there is going to be the airstrip is actually being expanded due to the increased traffic of mm -hmm, the planes. Mm -hmm. That means that when you you have your holiday home here you can come on holiday on Friday evening, enjoy your, your time here with your family and then jet back to Nairobi on Monday you mean morning. It's easy to access the area. It is quite easy to access the area. And given the the increasing number of tourists, you are you are assuring your potential buyers that this is a, a source, a steady get, yeah, source of income. You'll be able to get people to come, maybe stay in your A and B unit. Yes, also. currently yeah. even there's a weekend that we were here, and the the hotels were full, the the cottages were full, and they are, you are going to fetch good amount of money. Mm -hmm. That is a guarantee. Malipo apa? So why is it important for like for the diaspora? Of course you are targeting both local and diaspora, diaspora. but uh, particularly yeah. why is it so unique for the diaspora? I'm finding it very interesting yeah. because actually 70% of our clients uh -huh. are from the diaspora since they are people who usually value and understand the holiday concept. You mm -hmm. know in Africa still the holiday concept is not well accepted. So these are people who when they come in Kenya, they feel that they will be coming to their own home for mm -hmm. a holiday. Mm -hmm. When they are away, they can let somebody manage it for them and they will get a steady source of income. And the holiday element is attracting the diaspora market very much. Talking of the diaspora market and before we continue with the walkthrough, Jackie Achen Kuhn, the founder of a diaspora association known as Kenyan Women in Germany, shares her experience investing with Pazurina Holdings. We were here, over here, or most of us who, diasporans, who had bought project, uh, products with them or purchased their parcels. Everything was done for us as so we were seated over here, like the paperwork and name it. And within a period of two and a half months, the title deeds were delivered by none other than the CEO himself, Mr. Joseph, over here in Germany. So the fact that Quig is encouraging uh, Kenyans to develop back home, Pazurina is helping us 
to fulfill this by offering affordable um, housings and also uh, helping us with classes like how to purchase land, what to look into when building, what to look into when. Recently in December, they sent us experts, they sent us a surveyor, they sent us a lawyer, they sent us um, a contractor, and we were um, given lessons on all these areas. And that is something that fascinates me about Pazurina, and I will continue recommending them to any other person. And locally, Fred Kubai of Dotash Home Furniture also shares his impression about the project. After going through uh, due diligence, as people always do, I decided to pay a visit to Diani, and I saw and I liked. What I really loved about their plot is that uh, they've got the offers whereby you pay a deposit, then they're able now to split the amounts and you end up paying in installments. And that really got me really interested. And I ended up purchasing. Most definitely, that is going to be my retirement home. And what I really loved about also these guys are the promises that they made they fulfilled. And, and Florence, what do you see 10 years from now? Eh? What I see 10 years from now is that the prices of land will be skyrocketing. As we speak, when we started this project, a quarter was going only for 700. Mm -hmm. And right now, the same piece of quarter, the land, is mm. going for 3 million. Mm. You can imagine that is like more than 3 times. And also the fact that the Donko could bypass, which will enable us to commute uh, directly from the SGR or the airport, is being opened up. That will mean that the accessibility of this place will be opened up. There will be appreciation and also scarcity. Mm. Due to the fact that many people are now starting to come, due to also there is a, there is some, mm. the government has set aside some land for the economic hub, meaning that there will be a lot of industries and a lot of economic activity, meaning that there will be a lot of people, a lot of traffic, both industrial and tourist in this area. Also, Shimoni Caves are a tourist attraction okay. and also the economic hub. So there will be a lot of flow wow. of, of people within Diani. Quite timely. And Florence, the demand yeah. for the land will, mm -hmm. has also gone up as mm -hmm. we speak. Mm -hmm. So this is an opportunity to size. And I will not overemphasize the fact that we have been trusted over the last three years we are people who once you get your title once you finish your payment the title is guaranteed mm -hmm. we are tried and tested over the, the last three years thank you uh, florence well done yeah thank you for the work what a work and the healing quite exercise kwangu you know ah. <laughs> this sunny morning okay great that was diani pazurina resort at a glance a project by Pazurina Holdings and many thanks to Florence Gadoni, marketing manager for walking us through the project and Pazurina Holdings has more projects here in Diani and to take us through the other projects we are now joined by Betty Kariuki, the commercial manager. Uh, we have Bustani Gardens and Diani Beach Suburbs. Uh, let me begin with Bustani Gardens. Bustani Gardens is just 1.5 kilometers off the Lunga Lunga Highway. The project is quite ideal for residential and commercial development. The land is already fenced with poles. There is water and electricity provided, so it is buy and build. You do not wait. It is quite ready for development. We have eight going for 630,000 and a quarter double the price. However, we do offer flexible installment plans. Once you engage us, we can even go up to 12 months with you. Uh, we also have Diani Beach Suburbs, which is just 1.2 kilometers to the ocean. It is a walking distance. It is also quite convenient seeing that it is just 10 minutes drive from the airport. It is surrounded by rich neighborhoods which makes it ideal for development. Uh, we have quarters going for 1.7 million cash price however we do offer flexible pay payment plans once you engage us. This project is buy and build. The time to invest is now. Talk to us. On that note we come to the end of the show. Always a pleasure having your company and remember Daring Abroad is the only show of its kind in the entire world. And in this show, we normally showcase not only the experiences of Kenyans living abroad, but also investment opportunities back home. Let's do it again next time. 
and many thanks for watching. Abroad brought to you by our friends at Remitly. Download the Remitly app to send money back home.